Welcome back to the show. This is your host, David Yannis, and you're watching Ignite Your Faith. Ignite Your Day, and we're in our Ignite Your Faith session. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast. We want to get you to a point where your miracles are released. Today, I got the best miracle that you'll ever, ever see. You're going to see some amazing things. Why don't we go past this book picture of my book, and it's Igniting Your Faith. But this is the best miracle. Why? Because it is the miracle of souls. In Lima, Peru, I'm going to show you a medley of soul winning in Lima, Peru. Eight, you know, 2,000 people coming to Christ in one week in Lima, Peru. In Mexico, 300 people, 800 people coming to the Lord, 300 people at one time coming to Jesus. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's watch these videos and these pictures, this medley I put together for you so you can see how wondrous God works. Keep coming. Siga viniendo, siga viniendo. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Come on. Pull it in tight. Coming closer. Tell them to come closer. Venga come, más cerca. Come further. Come further. Come further. Come further. Padre, te pido que me perdones. Perdona mis pecados. Borra mis rebeliones. En esta noche, tomo la decisión de servirte. Tomo la decisión de honrar tu nombre. Señor, ame tu hijo. Señor, gracias. Porque mi nombre hoy en esta noche se registra en el libro de la vida. Ame tu hijo. Yo te necesito, Señor. Padre, muchas gracias. Porque tú estás aquí. Estás aquí para liberarme. Estás aquí para perdonarme. Estás aquí para limpiar mi vida. Entra mi corazón y sé Señor de mi vida. Y a partir de hoy, escribe mi nombre en el libro de la vida. Perdona todos mis pecados y con tu sangre limpia. Y se lo Usa mi vida y ayúdame. Ahora yo lo acepto como Señor y Salvador de mi vida. Jesús, gracias en el nombre de Jesús por tu perdón. Salva mi vida. Necesito cuatro, seis, diez personas rápidamente para tomar nota acá, porque ellos no van a pasar lo que ellos por su calidad. Welcome back. Uh, that was an amazing medley of just souls being saved. I'm talking about 800 people in Mexico, 2,000 people in Lima. Both of those times just was a time span of less than a week or so. And it, it's amazing to see what God does. It's amazing to see how God moves. Uh, this is a picture of San Luis Potosi, Mexico. I probably didn't say that right. I, I'm sorry, but it is it is Pastor Abraham leading the altar call. I usually do the, the fishing and, and catching and I let him finish doing the prayer because he knows the culture. And I did that, if you, if you notice, I did that in all the services in, in Peru and in Mexico. I've done that. I just hand the pastor the, pastor the microphone because he's there. He's going to be the one on the ground I'm going to be there just once in a while and I know that it's amazing to see what God is doing and how God is changing people's lives like that so this is just 300 chairs we had out and we had over 300 people come to Jesus and that's not kind of the people outside the tent it was the first night that we had service here it was a cold and windy night and I know the Lord was in it because my translator was having some emotional problems and as he was having these emotional problems God moved in a miraculous way on the behalf of these people because it was the Holy Spirit translating because this guy wasn't saying anything but here's the, the, the Tula de Linda I go there every single year and look at this 
people being saved. These are workers. In fact, I know the workers because this woman can cook some amazing chicken. And uh, this is my friend Mark. Look, his hands are up over there. Why? Because God moved. God moved in a miraculous way for him. And I'm going to tell you this. When you open the altars, people get saved. When you open the altars, people get saved. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't know Jesus, please pray the simple prayer with me. And that is this. Father, I'm a sinner. And I don't know Jesus. I know that Jesus died for me and that he was raised again. That my sins are forgiven when I receive him, Lord, and I receive him right now. Father, I pray that prayer that says, I want to be in the land, book of Lamb's book. I want to be in the Lamb's book of life. Please put me in that book right now. And Father, I know by faith I am saved. I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Get yourself in a good Bible church spirit field. See what God does. It's amazing how God moves. God bless you. If you write us, let us know that you received the Lord. During our broadcast, I'll send you some books or something just to help you get along and, and, put, and even pray with you and get a time with you on the, on the phone or whatever just to get you encouraged. God bless you. Thank you for watching Ignite Your Day. And remember, souls are the reason we're doing this. The miracles I show you are amazing, but souls is what God wants us to chase after. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching.